Hello, YouTubers. This is Johnny. Welcome to my NASDAQ channel. Today, I'm going to talk about the cyber arc, um, the RDS issue I found recently. Um, I set up cyber arc lab, testing cyber arc PSM solution, PIS solution, or the PBWA, those things. Um, and the one thing I found very interesting is I can use more than license defined concurrent session to remote desktop to other servers. Let me show you what that means. <clears throat> Here is our PSM server. We have enabled the collector collection and uh, build uh, collectors and license servers, those things. And the license server has been set up as 10 license. Right now you can see 10 license, and the way is 10. And the PSM01, session one, this is a uh, collection service. Um, so you can see the background list one session is being opened because I'm not even to it. So ideally I was thinking only can do 10 RTP sessions for one user. But actually during my testing, I can use more than this limitation. You test it a maximum like 17 sessions, concurrent sessions, and it works in fine. So here, I'm gonna show you what that means. And I also look at some online KB and find uh, this Post online Microsoft RDS client access licensing calls. So um, actually we are using per user license, which means calls are assigned to a user in Active Directory, but calls not enforced by the license server. Well, that's good to know. Calls can be over allocated in breach of the remote desktop license agreement. Basically, what it says, we can use uh, uh, we can use RTS license as much as you want, but you're gonna break the remote desktop license agreement with Microsoft. Here is my testing. I'm gonna show you. Uh, this is my CyberArk account. I create a JY Super account, um, and I'm gonna. Um, connected to more than 10 servers to confirm that. Okay, there's one. Test one. I already tested before, I'm just connecting to servers one by one. So there's a RTP file downloaded. Just click it. By default, automatic login. One session. Okay. This is one session here. Another session is my PSM session I already opened. Um, second one. It's going to be boring because I'm trying to remote session one by one. It's going to take a bit of time. Three. Oh. 
fine. Seven. Eight. I need to type something new here. Test eight. I need to make sure I'm not uh, logging to same server I logged in before. Three, four, five, six, test nine, go to test ten. Six, it didn't use one six yet. Okay, so we can use one six. No, I typed it wrong. And six. Okay, now we're gonna over use our license. We are coming to test eleven. As you can see, I have more than ten. Actually, it's 11 remote session, concurrent remote session to remote server from PSM, and uh, still works. If we look at the uh, old remote PSM server. This is our PSM server. Just take a couple of minutes to 
que apesta los dedos. And we also can see our licenser. You can see more than 11 sessions have been built from here. And from license server, we can check the licensing. So 10, not uh, enhanced or enforced by license server for low stream of session. That's very interesting. So here is what I found recently while playing at um, our CyberArk lab. Uh, if you found it interesting, you have different sort, please let me know. Basically, this issue is uh, technically you can use it without uh, triggering the limitation from license server if you use input server for user mode on your RDS. That's all for today. Thank you for watching. Um, this is Johnny.